10 minutes on CBS. So what's the weather going to be like? Let's question CBS 2's John Elliott. Well, you know, for most of us, it's going to be a delightful afternoon. A pleasant evening should be fine for the Yankees and a lot of folks. Hopefully, maybe doing a little barbecuing or eating out in the backyard tonight because we are going to see pretty nice conditions. Watch for a few more clouds. West of the city could see a stray shower, but I think the odds of that are pretty slim. So we're looking okay for your Monday, your Tuesday. Chance for a stray shower. Peak odds for rain are going to be Wednesday. Peak heat and humidity will be Thursday. Want to remind you by Thursday, low 90s with lots of humidity, so it feels like the mid 90s. But then a cold front is our friend, blows it all away, and we've got nicer weather Friday into Saturday. Right now, it's pretty nice, mostly sunny, about 83 degrees. I'm John Elliott in the WCBS Weather Center. WCBS News Time, 1.15. Attention, if you're attempting to lose weight, please stay tuned for an important opportunity. In a six-month clinical study, participants lost an average of 30 pounds without changing their eating habits or routine. Now, Sensa is conducting a in this listening area. If you're trying to lose weight, you are eligible to try Sensa free for 30 days. Call 1-800-449-3229 now to request your free trial. Participation in this free trial does not require any dieting, pills, or change in lifestyle. In fact, we only ask that you continue your current eating habits. Just use clinically proven Sensa, the same weight loss breakthrough you've seen on Extra, Dateline NBC, and America's Newsroom. Results are guaranteed. If you want to lose weight, you are eligible to participate in this market trial. Sensa has not yet been released to stores. So for your 30-day free trial, you must call this number now, 1-800-449-3229. That's 1-800-449-3229. <laughs> getting another soccer team, and its name is well-known around the world. In the late 70s and early 80s, the New York Cosmos were among the most famous sports teams on the planet, with international stars like Pele and Beckenbauer. A new group has gotten the rights to the name and hopes to get a major league soccer franchise to put it on with Pele as an honorary president. How to bring Zorko back is a fantastic. Giorgio Canalia was another of the famous Cosmos stars. I think it would be great. It's exciting. Right? It's a name that everybody in the world should know. They would be great. They would be great. After his playing days, Canalia owned and ran the Cosmos till they went out of business. Tom Fody, CBS News. The Big Apple loves Apple. New York beats the U.S. average by 52% for owning the iPad. This is according to the Gadget Census, which is a survey conducted by the tech shopper website Retrievo. One reason why New York beats out Apple's home state of California, more people here use public transportation, giving them more time to use their iPads to read or watch videos. Well, Mitch Miller, the goateed orchestra leader who asked Americans to sing along Mitch on television and records has died at the age of 99. His daughter says her dad died in New York City after a short illness. Mitch Miller was a key record executive at Columbia Records in the pre-rock and roll era, making hits with singers such as Rosemary Clooney, Patti Page, Johnny Mathis, and Tony Bennett. Sing Along with Mitch started as a series of records and then became a popular NBC show starting in early 1961. Miller's stiff-armed conducting style and signature goatee became famous. Once again, Mitch Miller dead at the age of 99. WCBS News Time 153. Time now for the WCBS Help Watch. Oh, summer picnic. Potato salad, watermelon, hamburgers, food poisoning. It can happen, but with just a few simple steps, you can make sure your food stays safe under the sun. For Fitness Magazine, I'm Dr. Jennifer Ashton with Health Watch. Picnic dishes sitting out on a warm day can quickly go bad in the heat. Potato salad, the dish people think is most likely to make them sick, is actually one of the safer foods. It's made with mayonnaise, which contains vinegar, an acidic ingredient that inhibits the growth of bacteria. At your next outdoor gathering, keep food that could spoil at 40 degrees. Store food and drinks in separate coolers so that your meal doesn't get a blast of hot air whenever you grab a soda. Pack a few small portions instead of a single large one and put them out one at a time so nothing sits for more than two hours. One hour if it's 90 degrees or hotter. Nest serving bowls inside larger ones partially filled with ice. With Health Watch, I'm Dr. Jennifer Ashton, WCBS 880 News. WCBS News Time 154. Is your computer running slowly? Thinking about buying a new one? Don't waste your money. Your computer could be infected with spyware, malware, viruses, registry errors, spam, and pop-ups. You don't need to buy a new computer. Just go to double
Mac.com and find out what's slowing your computer down. Double my speed, totally cleaned up my system and increased my speed. Double my speed, Doctor. Increase the speed of my computer from the very first day. My computer was on its last leg. Now it's like new again. Get your free diagnosis at DoubleMySpeed.com and keep your computer running fast. Your free diagnosis at DoubleMySpeed.com is easy and fast. It's the best you could ask for. Outstanding, and my computer is running faster than ever. Find out what is slowing down your computer with a free diagnosis at DoubleMySpeed.com. Don't waste your time with your slow computer. Get your free diagnosis now at DoubleMySpeed.com. That's DoubleMySpeed.com. WCBS News Time 155. Time now for business. It's sponsored by First Republic Bank. Let's go live with Marcy Norton at the Wall Street Journal. Markets jumping thanks to monthly growth in both construction spending and manufacturing activity. The Dow Jones Industrials are up 189 points at 10,655. The Nasdaq's up 36 points. S&P ahead by 21 points, which is a gain of close to 2%. The Washington Post Company is near a deal to sell Newsweek magazine. The 91-year-old founder of the Harmon Audio Equipment Company is a potential buyer. Little to no cash will change.